talk about the four steps. And my goal today is to give you a renewed spirit about this incredible system that we have here with Organo. You know, I was thinking back, I think reflection, remembering can be a really powerful thing. And I was thinking back to my first event. My first event ever with OG was here in Las Vegas at the Golden Nugget. How many of you were with us at the Golden Nugget? We were at the Golden Nugget. I can remember, Super E, we were ready. We were so excited. We would bought our, our new suit. We would bought our new outfits. We were ready. We're getting ready to leave the room. And my dad is holding his tie. And my mom's looking at his tie. And I'm looking at his tie. And he's looking at his tie. And we kind of looked at each other and said, do any of you know how to tie a tie? <laughs> we were very green. We'd never been in this industry before. You know, background in real estate construction. My background was in education was until I dropped out of college, and then I guess I can't say that's my background anymore. And uh, we had to YouTube how to tie a tie at our first event. We were very, very green. So some of you are in that place. Some of you are a little farther ahead. Some of you might be, I, I heard uh, Trish Carlson last night, she said, don't compare your chapter one to someone else's chapter 10. So I'm gonna give you eight years of successful experience today. But I want you to receive that experience and receive the information from where you're at today. Everybody repeat after me. I am where I am. And it's okay that I'm there. What's not okay is for me to stay here. It's okay, guys, to be where you are. But the goal is to not stay where you are. So some people, I love talking about the four steps. Because some people think the four steps are boring. Some people think, oh, I already know about the four steps. I'm here to tell you, if you knew and understood the four steps, you would be on this side of the line. You'll know when your understanding of the four steps is, get, is really kind of getting there when you start to see the results. Because as much as we love OG, as much as we love our incredible product line, this is a results-based business. This is a results-based business. How many of you came here to get results? You want to leave the event with results. The only way to do that is to follow the system. You got to get excited about this system. The four steps should be the most exciting topic in your business. Because here's what OG doesn't do that I absolutely love. Bernie, I'm so grateful. Bernie and Adeline Chua, let's give it up for our CEO, guys. They created a company, if you're taking notes, write this down. There are no one-hit wonders in OG. Without a proper system, there's, there's only one-hit wonders. I'm here to tell you it doesn't take any skill, it doesn't take any talent, and sometimes it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to be a one-hit wonder. You can hit the right timing, the right energy, the right climate, the right moment. The purpose of the four steps this is the most powerful concept, guys. The purpose of the four steps is to have repeatable results. A one-hit wonder is not success. It's fun for that one moment, but a one-hit wonder is not real success. Real success is being able to create results and then duplicate those results and then repeat those results and then take those results into a different culture and repeat that success in that culture. Take it to a different... Uh, geographical location and repeat those results. Because our product line is so good and it's so simple, we can utilize this system if you really understand it to have duplicatable results. The challenge with duplicatable results is it's not about you. Everybody say it's not about me. <laughs> duplicatable results are not about you. You don't want to be the only one in your group winning. If you can gather up the gratitude and the courage to have a humble heart, you can build an incredibly huge business. First diamond in all of Organo, Mr. Abby Ikeola. Give it up for Mr. Abby, our very first diamond. He talks about a humble heart. A humble heart, guys. The more success stories you produce and reproduce in your organization, 
the more success your organization is going to have. It's all about the duplication. So when I go through the system today and I explain the system, your, your learning experience of the four steps is a lifelong journey. I'm still learning the four steps. I'm still learning so much about them. I know any one of our leaders down here, give it up for your diamonds. Any one of our leaders can take step one and train on step one for a day and still not do it justice. You can train on step two for a day and still not get all the goods. So what I want you to understand is receive. Mr. Edwin Haynes talked about receiving the information. So receive it where you are knowing you're not gonna stay where you are. See, I've got a short video that's gonna play here in just a second before we dive in because it's not just the details on the screen. You gotta know why they're there. See, some of us got to teaching, got to stop teaching just and only what to do and also teach them why to do it. Why to do it. That's where you get true growth in your organization. See, this system we have here with the four steps, it's a map. Okay? Your business is a giant minefield. What happens if you take the wrong step? or you go the wrong direction and you're surrounded by mines. Anybody care to explain to me what happens? Boom, boom right? Steve Martin says boom. So you want, guys, how many of you have ever not followed the system and you had a, a boom in your business, right? So we're gonna talk about using the map and actually following the map. We're gonna talk about your four steps is the compass. Your four step system is your compass. Now, before we play the video, I want to explain this. When you're standing at the edge of the forest, you've got a map, you've got a compass. When you're standing on the edge and you're not actually going through the woods, you're not actually going on the journey, you have no worries about getting lost. You're not, you don't have to worry about getting lost. You don't have to worry about understanding the system. But if you take that first step and then that second step, now you literally have the opportunity to get off track. I want everybody to write this down because it's so important if you're taking notes. I will get off track. I will get lost. You want to write it down. Because sometimes we get off track, we get lost, and we think, oh, man, I did it wrong. What's wrong with me? I'm already off track. I'm already lost. Everybody that's moving will get off track. The only people who don't get off track, who don't get lost, who don't have to rebound back and find their home base again, their true north, the only people that don't have to find it again are the ones that aren't working anyway. I love working with somebody who comes to me and says, Casey, I don't, I'm working, but I don't really know what to do next. And we go back to our map. We go back to our compass. But I want you to know it's also okay to be really bad at it. How many of you are okay if you're really bad at it, but they still pay you a lot of money? Some of us wait so long to be perfect in execution that we never take action. It's okay if it's messy, it's okay if it's sloppy, it's okay if it's imperfect. That's what the leadership and upline and council is there for. So we have a short video that we're gonna play here, guys, and I'm gonna explain that, and we're gonna go through as thoroughly as possible in this amount of time, we're gonna go through the four steps, how to apply them, why they work, and how you can win coming out of this business. Go ahead, Eric, roll the video. Run home. 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 Hey Marvin, where are you going? Run home. Run home. Run home. Hey, where's he going? What happened? Hold on, run home. I... He did. <laughs> <laughs> How many of you ever seen that movie? So what's happening is there's a coach there. He's teaching this group of boys how to play a pickup game of baseball. And they've got this little guy who's never played baseball before. He has no idea how to play baseball. He doesn't know what the rules are. But they don't explain it to him thoroughly enough. He gets on first base. The next kid that comes up hits a great ball. And they're like, listen, it's, that ball's gone far enough. It's out of here. Little guy, run home. But to him and his lack of experience in baseball, run home means his house. So instead of going to second base and third base and home plate, he runs up, boom! Who, who just got off base on the four steps and stepped on a landmine, right? Every time you hear that today, somebody stepped outside of the system and that, 
That's startling. We got to get back on track, right? <laughs> Boom. So there's two lessons I want you to learn from this video. The first lesson, remember that you know more than your brand new person, even if you're brand new. Sometimes we forget that what it's like to be brand new. And we don't walk people through the system. Why? Because it takes time, it takes energy, it takes effort, it takes intention to truly walk somebody through the system and explain the what and the why. Don't just hand somebody a copy of the four steps and say, do this and you'll get rich, do this and you'll hit your goals, do this and you'll win. A leader's gonna sit down, Mr. Holton Bugs. Give it up for Holton Bugs! He calls it distributor orientation. You, sometimes you gotta take people by the hand. I'm also gonna tell you when to let go. Have you ever seen two people try to run holding hands? That's a really awkward thing, right? So we're gonna talk about when the guidance is there and when you kind of pull back a little bit. But this little boy needed more specifics than run home. Some of you just say, hey, get on auto ship, do a mixer, do, and your person's like a mixer. I don't, I don't really know, do they want me to grab my blender? Like, I'm not really sure what that means. You gotta remember, they have no idea. They're that brand new baby coming to Organo and they know nothing. The cool part is you have a clean slate. The second story I want you to take from that video, don't be the little boy that gets on base but never scores. First base is a great place to be, but as those of you who are familiar with American baseball, it's, the, it's a good place to be, but where do you really wanna be? Home plate. And it doesn't care how messy it is when you get there so long as you score, right? And some people say, well, listen, I don't wanna do the first step because it doesn't seem important to me from my current place of understanding, so I'm gonna skip step one and violate the system and I'm gonna just run from batting to second base. What happens if you do that in baseball? You're out and they look at you like you're crazy. Have, how many of you, your upline's ever given you that look like you just ran to second base without hitting first base first? So we have an order. There is a sequence to things that's very much on purpose. We're gonna have the four steps up here, guys, so that I don't have to write it down, and you're gonna, you're gonna look at it. We're gonna walk through step one. Remember, this is your compass. This is your true north. And when you're working, sometimes we're supposed to go this way, but we're working, we're focused, and we're gonna get a little off track. So then you look up and you're like, okay, my true north says I actually need to make adjustments and move over this way a little bit. The first step, everybody say, be a product of the product. Sharing your testimonial. See, this is what I love. During the leadership training, Mr. Shane Moran. Give it up for Mr. Shane Moran. He taught us not only how to give a proper testimonial, but why you give that testimonial. See, we had Mr. Sam Bean and all of our go-getters give their testimonials yesterday. How many of you love the testimonial portion of yesterday's event? It was one of my favorite parts. And you give a testimonial. Here's the few tips that Shane Moran gave us for giving a proper testimonial. Your name. I was so proud of all of you who came up on stage and followed instructions. Guys, it was so amazing. Nobody took off with the mic. No, everybody followed the instructions and it was like watching art. It was beautiful that it went down and it served the entire team. See, your testimonial, it's not about who, it's not about you. It's a, it's a form of service, and the more you serve, the more you give, the more you receive. Your name, where you're from, what your background is. Your name, where you're from, what your background is, what your results are, whether financial or from a health improvement standpoint, and where you see yourself going in the future. If you, we're not gonna go into that today, but if you wanna see it well done, go back and watch the video of how great they did on stage giving their testimonials. And the reason why we do this, how many of you, when you saw Dr. Latrice Walker up here, you were like, I know a doctor. She's off from Chicago and you're like, oh my gosh, I remember I know someone from Chicago. Or when you saw the Gwyns up here and you're like, a mother-daughter team, so I can share this with my mom and use the products, we can do it together? 
the point of doing it on purpose is so we can recreate those results. And when we recreate those results, we can predict our results. How many of you love the fact that your business is predictable, it's not volatile? See, without, without predictability, you have volatility. Most of you are involved in OG to get rid of the volatility in your finances, right? You want to get rid of the chaos and the, and the unsureness in your finances. So giving your testimonial, giving a proper testimonial is very important. But some people say it can't be that important. Testimonials build belief. What can you not have in this business without belief? You can't have anything. And the very first step is all about belief. So even if you don't understand why, you want to implement anyway. Have you ever heard the expression, don't tear down the fences till you know why they've been put up? There's so much wisdom, decades of successful experience behind this system for you to win. Be a product of the product. Guys, sign up for AutoShip, if applicable. AutoShip is not a requirement. But guess what? Winning isn't a requirement either. We've got to get out of this mentality that we're going to be the one who doesn't have to do, pay the full price and win, and we can win. Honestly, when I see 50s, 100 points, I'm like, wow, I'm really excited for that customer. I don't see anybody building the business with less than a case of coffee. And I honestly don't know how people do it with less than $1,000 to $2,500 a month in product. If you're actually working, you need product. Product equals profitability. How many of you want to be profitable? You can't sell what you don't have. Be generous with the sample. See, step three is about booking an OG meeting. But Rhonda, let's say I'm inviting you to my meeting, and I got my $100 order, and if you're anything like me, I probably drank $100 worth of coffee yesterday. So I'm like, Rhonda, this is my last cup. I want to share this, this incredible opportunity with you. So what we'll do is you take a sip, and then I'll take a sip. And you take a sip, and I'll take a sip. And by the time the meeting's done, our cup will be empty. Guys, you want to be generous. It's business. And the cost of doing business in this business is so minimal that sometimes it backfires on us because we think we can do the minimums and receive the maximums. You don't have to be on a case. Don't buy product just to buy it. Don't buy it just to get recognized. Get recognized coming across the stage as a star achiever because your business is growing in the right direction. But you need product. How many of you believe we have the greatest product in the world? Janilda, they were telling me a story yesterday at, at, at dinner. Give it up for, for, for Janilda from, from New York. And Nydia and Francisco, give it up for them. Guys, incredible weight loss as a family, been amazing. They told me a story. They were watching, talk about be a product of the product. They were watching a documentary about the CEO of Pepsi. And she's the CEO of Pepsi, and she gets a call. Her five or six-year-old daughter is at school. And she came into the nurse's office, and she told the school nurse, you need to call my mom, I'm dying. How many of you, that's pretty dramatic. You need to call my mom, I'm dying. So the nurse calls the CEO of Pepsi and says, listen, I'm really sorry to interrupt your day. You gotta come in and find out what's happening. Your daughter's telling us she's dying. So she rushes over to the school. She sits down in front of her daughter and is like, baby, what's, what's going on? You, you told the nurse you're dying? And she's like, mom, at lunch today, they served me Coca-Cola. And see, in their house, the only thing you drink is Pepsi. How many of you, if your kids, somebody tried to hand them a non-OG hot chocolate, they'd be like, oh, no. No, you have to call my mama, right? When the waiter yesterday asked us if we wanted a regular cup of coffee, I said, sir, it would be worse than cheating on my husband. I said, that's coffee adultery in a cup right there. The product of the product. And we're excited. We're excited, but if I go into your house right now, do I find the OG beauty bar? If I go into your house right now, do I find the OG smile? Guys, you gotta be all in to win. You can't win halfway. You gotta be all in to win. And some people say, I don't have the 450. Right, you've got coffee. Bernie has allowed all of us to become magicians. 
bippity boppity boo, you turn coffee into money. That's the whole point of this thing, right? You take your coffee, you work your magic called the four questions, and you turn it into cash. Everybody say cash. Yeah. See, the thing about this business, nobody's going to do it for you. Now, if you're brand new, somebody thought about stepping on the mine and they, they came back. It's like I kind of got off. <laughs> the thing about this business, guys, you have to do 100% of the work. I don't know if I can share this, but I'm going to share this, and I hope the message is received with the intention it's given. One of the best things that happened to us in this business was our sponsor quitting on us. The day we got started, he took his, his very generous fast start bonus, and he was done. And you know what happened? It was the greatest thing that could ever happen to us because we had to take 100% responsibility from the very first second we started in the business. Some of you take advantage of having a great upline because you're waiting for them to do it for you. You're waiting for them to show the plan. You're waiting for them to build your list. You're waiting for them to show you how to use the coffee sales script. Guys, you gotta do the work. Who's gotta do the work? Me. You gotta do the work. Now when you're brand new, we're gonna show shadow duplicate. You don't leave your brand new babies. You wanna walk them through the system. But guys, I'm telling you, quit waiting on your upline. Quit waiting on your sponsor to call you and say, hey, would you like to have a meeting? Hey, I know you told me you really wanted to win, so hey, wh when would you like to win? Was that this year or are you got 2020 vision, you wanna win in 2020, let's get on the calendar a couple years from now? Guys, success doesn't wait for anybody. Write this down, success is simple. But following instructions is not. Success is very, it is not hard to win an OG. Nobody disputes that everybody in here can do all four of these things. And people say, how come I'm not winning? Have you submitted your testimonial? And it's like they want a different answer. Guys, following instructions, it is rare to find someone who can follow instructions. It's a skill. What does that mean? You need practice. Practice following instructions. We give you the instructions clear as day. Submit your testimonial. Be enrolled for auto ship. Get qualified to grow. Get qualified to win. Make sure your people are leaving with a box of black and a box of latte. Build your list. You can't go to step two. This is like your report card. If you take your report card home, how many of you, you look at your kids' report cards and it matters to you what it says on there? How many of you, if you took your four-step report card to your kids, you would let them grade you? See, I, the last thing I ever want to be is a hypocrite. It doesn't mean I haven't been one before. But imagine being like, no, you've got to get A's, you've got to get B's, you've got to get this C up, you've got to get this D up, but your report card is an F on building a list and an F on having a mixer. But you want them to be really excited, you've got an A plus on step one. Are you really excited when they bring you A pluses and Fs? No. How you do anything is how you do everything. Hold yourself to the same accountability that you hold your kids. Hold yourself to the same accountability that you hold your spouse. You gotta raise your standards. And it's not hard, that's what I really want you to, it's not hard to win in this business. But following instructions is a skill. Following instructions is a skill. Would you be convicted of having your testimonial done? See, the cool part is, is you can do what Rod Smith, give it up for Mr. Rod Smith. You can put your testimonials on auto ship. You can put your testimonials on auto ship. But once you've gone through step one, now it's step two, building your list. This is your capital. You're not gonna be the exception of the person who wins. Let me just let you know, you're not gonna be the one who wins without a list. You're not gonna be like, well, everybody else had to do a list but me. You're not gonna get up here as a diamond and be like, I was the one who did it, and I wasn't on auto ship. I never bought any product. I totally don't have a list. Mixers, those are for other people. I am a diamond. Thank you for cheering for me. I didn't do anything. I didn't follow any instructions, and I'm so glad you're all happy for me. That's not how it works, but it's what people are waiting for. You gotta do 100% of the work to win.
100% of the work to win. Duplicatable results. Don't be a one-hit wonder. Man, I made, I made X number of dollars selling coffee. Well, how'd you do it? Well, you know, I'm just that good. You know, Nikki, I did, you know how she's selling all this coffee? When she walks down the street, people just fall over on themselves and like, Nikki, here's my credit card. You must be in network marketing. Take my money. Here's, I want one of those gold packy things. Add some more stuff to it. Guys, it's not magic. It's science. It's predictable. And if you're winning right now outside of the system, your win is temporary and the fall is hard. If you're winning outside of the system, don't be like, well, she wrong because I don't have an auto ship and I'm winning. Oh, you're winning right now. But how long is it going to last? Don't be a one-hit wonder. What you do is you create those duplicatable results so when you're a brand new person, Esther, we got a million dollar ring earner, guys. When, when you're worth your brand new person and they say, I need to, Steve, I need to make $100 yesterday. And you're like, cool, good luck. That's not leadership. You say, you know, how, you know how I made my first 100 in OG? We've got this coffee sales script that nobody else uses. I'm telling you, it's the best kept secret in this business. We got this coffee sales script. I made 15 phone calls, sold 10 boxes. I profited $10 per box. And I made $100 in 30 minutes using this script. You can now control. You're now the boss of your business. Some of you aren't the boss, you're the, the non-boss. <laughs> Be the boss of your business, because if you're not the boss, you're the, you're the, you're the non-boss, right? <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you, create duplicatable results. You know why it's going to be so amazing when Crown Ambassador John Sectoris talks about the compensation plan today? I don't really know if they want to get paid. He, he's going to show you how to get paid. <laughs> Two reasons it's exciting. One, he did it first. Some of you stop being teachers. Be leaders. They're not synonymous. Anybody can read this. It does not take skill. You do not impress anybody telling other people to do what you aren't doing. It is not impressive. Matter of fact, it's insulting. I don't know about you, but have you ever heard from somebody telling you? It's like, no offense, it's like somebody who's smoking. <coughs> don't smoke, it's bad for you. <laughs> Ignorance is not attractive. Stop wearing it so well. <laughs> lead, the only way that you lead is by your example. Man, how many of you would love if everybody in your group right now made $100 on Monday with the coffee sales script. How many of you are going to call 15 people on Monday with the coffee sales script? About half the number of people who want everybody else to do it. Your example creates momentum in your business. People think momentum is this big, beautiful, amazing thing. It is, but the closer you get to momentum, the more tiny, little, consistent. Guys, I'm here to tell you, success is not sexy. It is not, all these OGXers, man, they're sexy in their physical appearance, but I'm telling you, the road to success, it's not this clean, pretty, sexy, everything is perfect, it's so beautiful, look, I never made any mistakes. It's not like that. It's dirty, and it's ugly, and it's sweaty. Success got some BO going up on it, guys, I'm telling you. Some of you smell too good. It's like, man, I'm just cool. I'm so cool. I'm so cool. I don't even care that I'm broke. Look how cool I am. <laughs> give it up. Today, they're going to have to, like, energy clear this room or something. You got to give all of that up and leave it here because if you take it home with you, you're going to struggle because you can't take this environment with you. I've been doing this for eight years, and as much as I try to hold on to all of this energy, after about two days, I find it slipping through my grasp like water through the palm of your hands. That's when the work comes in. It's easy to feel like a champion in this room. I want to prepare you 
for when that feeling leaves, how to recreate it. You can revisit this moment. See, when you have your mixers, you book four of them. How many of you would love to be able to walk outside down the street, attract a stranger into your experience, sample them or invite them, have them get started at the gold pack and start duplicating the success of this incredible system? The only way to do it, write this down, muscle memory. Understand how powerful your example. My example gets exploded in my organization, not just the things I do right, but also the things I do wrong. Your inactivity gets duplicated in your organization. Guys, this opportunity is too big. With what they're gonna do at Expo, regrets are the heaviest thing to carry around. Don't have regrets. Give yourself an opportunity. Already have your, your list before you leave here. It will help you maintain this environment and this energy a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Have your mixer already booked. If you wait till you get home, the muscle memory you have now of not doing it will override the temporary excitement you had while you were here. Have it booked before you leave. Your calendar is so key. You want predictable success. I know that's not as sexy as me telling you, listen, you can get in, wiggle your nose over here, do the I dream a genie blink, and there you're gonna have a diamond right in front of you, you can sponsor them. It doesn't work like that. The truth of the matter is, it takes time. It takes time, 18 months. And after 18 months, you renew again. Another 18 months, and then another 18 months. Some of you are saying, well, if I win this month, I'll stay in. You might as well stop right now. The mentality of that does not work. Nobody becomes an expert in anything overnight. I've never seen anything in my life, and I'm a total nerd, I love information. John, I'm like, you give me all the details, all the information, and I've never seen anything pay people like the experts are paid in OG. You wanna become an OG expert, not because you know it all, but because you're the best at following instructions. There's no secret to winning in this business. No secret to winning in this business. Next time you see yourself, okay, I got my list, I don't wanna do the mixer, but I'll come to the next event, you just picture that little boy. You gotta train yourself to be like, run home, run home, run home. What I'm doing is I'm running home and I'm not able to score. You're gonna exert the same amount of energy running home as running to home plate, but you don't get to win. How many of you know not everybody at the gym gets fit? How many of you know having a membership to the gym does not guarantee that you get fit? You have to put 100% of the work in, but I can tell you when you do that, I want you to picture in your mind, I want you to project out in front of you what you really want. I want you to go deep inside your emotions right now of who's going to be celebrating you where at Expo back here in Las Vegas. See, we're going to come back. You've got, a, you've got another shot, it, but it's not over. Bernie Chia said, I'm going to reset the clock. I'm going to give you another chance. You can do it one more again. I want you to hold that picture of you Who's crying with you as you get your eagle? Guys, when we do the eagle ceremony today, I want it to be the biggest energy round of applause. See, it's day two and some of you are tired. That's when you gotta dig deep. I want you to cheer every single eagle like they're front line to you in your group. Would you cheer bigger if all of these incredible eagles that are gonna come across the stage, if they were on your pay side, how many of you would be cheering? You'll be like, no, I'm going to sit in my. <laughs> when you celebrate, you order from the universe. What you celebrate is on its way to you. And what you don't celebrate will never enter into your life. So put yourself in this position. Your emotions will guide your business to an incredible extent. Plug into the proven system. How do you 
overcome the post-convention blues, you gotta know that they're coming. Because if you don't know, you'll feel like you're doing something wrong. I must be the only one who's lost a little bit of excitement, who's lost a little bit of motivation since the event. No, it happens to all of us, everybody. But if you're aware of it, you have power over it. What you're not aware of, you can't change. I liken it to a bad smell at your house. You ever gone to a friend's house, you walk in and you're like, dude, your house smells. And like, really, I didn't know. I got so used to it, I didn't know. But now that they know, they can fix it. When you're aware that you're getting down, I can't wait for this week's and next week's Millionaire Mentorship Call. That's my opportunity to come back to this place, to come back to this energy, to come back to this motivation, to come back to this excitement. And following instructions means being on every single Millionaire Mentorship Call. See, I don't know about you, but I think if you can't do it for you, do it for the ones who will shed a tear for you when you win. Maybe you can't do it for you because you gotta work on you. You gotta work on your belief and your sense of self-worth. But maybe you can do it for your son or daughter who will cry tears of joy for you and relief for them because they believe they can win because mommy's a winner. They believe they can win because daddy's a winner. Maybe you need to do it for your friend. Maybe you need to win for the person you lay down with every single night so they can believe that they can win. This opportunity is too big to miss. You can't miss this. You can't miss this. You can't miss this. If you can't do it for you, do it for somebody you love. This is the moment you've waited your whole life for. It's right here. You don't have to wait anymore. Don't miss this. Say, I can do it.